And hello. And we are recording again? <laughs> yes, we're recording again. Um, we are. I think we talked about just doing the recordings for the undoing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, but not the regular live streams. That's still on the table. So yes. we just wanted to do it so we don't have interruptions. We could get through the episode. Mm -hmm. And there we are. So we Hello. are. Yeah, right? <laughs> <clears throat> so we're on uh, episode three, Do No Harm. Right? What does it remind you of, Do No Harm? Um, I don't is know. There, what, what do is you, it just me? What do you oh, think? I just, I, what is your thought? Yeah, actually, it? yeah, I just I just thought of it because you, when you, cause I didn't even know the title of this that I was watching and you told me just, um, you know, mm -hmm. you mentioned the title of it just before we... We started recording, and the first thing that popped into my mind was the doctors, the whole thing, do no harm. Unless I'm mixing it up. I didn't no, no, Google no. it yet. Yeah, Is that, that it? makes sense. That makes sense because they have an do oath. Do no harm. Right? Yeah. They have an oath yeah. not to okay. uh, do any harm. Do harm, yeah. But it's there's doctors. one little thing I, I wanted to say because I did notice this before, but I didn't say anything because I mm -hmm. wasn't sure, but I did see it this time. In the opening credits, when we see Grace as a child, yes, towards the end, there's blood that drips down the wall. Oh, she that actually that's the thing there is, and it's actually um, not just it's the it's a image of a flower, mm -hmm. red flower, I think carnation. Yes, I think. Oh, well, I some what, flower. I need yeah. to Google what carnations are standing for, like what they stand for. There's a meaning to each flower. I didn't Google it. I'll look it up at some point. But there's a, car a red carnation, and uh, then it kind of just flashes to blood and then goes back, disappears. Yep. Yes. Yep. And I said last week that there's something about the opening credits with her being a child. It uh -huh. has something. There's something in that opening credit every, every week that we're not seeing. And I... I'm linking it to my opinion is it has to do with something with grace that mm -hmm. maybe the father is protecting her or maybe she knows something or saw something and um, mm -hmm. she's like in denial, like that thing that she yeah. saw, she, she's forgetting. So I'm sure we'll get back to that. It, I'm sure as the episodes go on, it'll mean some, it'll have more yeah. meaning, right? But oh, exactly. And then, um, I think that was during the, the last thing that we, uh, released, I think there was somebody in a chat mentioning great discussion, by the way, in those chats, um, mm -hmm. in the premiere, and um but i don't know i'm not sure if they actually have a new thing each week the only what i did is uh, this time i actually took some no can you believe it i took some notes on the opening of it because um i didn't wow. take notes on any other ones yeah i know i took notes but every little scene that they show mm -hmm. even if it's a couple seconds there's a mean i think there's a meaning behind it first of all there is the whole you know the song it says something about dream um a little dream or dream a little dream or a little something dream whatever of yeah me, yes. yeah then there are obviously shadows i think i have a list of it there's shadows on the wall there are bubbles that bur you know like burst yes. your bubble kind of thing they're beautiful they're fragile and they burst and they can sting you as a kid right when you burst the bubble yes and when it's your uncle at least for me i'm like oh that's so beautiful i'm gonna touch it and boom it goes in my eye and obviously it stings right so all kinds of things there i think there were clouds actually i'm looking at my nose right now there were clouds in the sky white roses blooming raindrops that's creating ripples all kinds of i'm not even going to go into the detail i have like a whole list each one there is something about it um there's even i think lavender which is calming and dreams and just different things and i think at the end the last one of the last things that i saw was the bubbles the bubble bursting yes she pokes the bubble so mm -hmm. yeah it, it's imagery like oh my gosh the entire thing we could spend like an episode of this just talking about the opening scene which we won't <laughs> yes but we but we, oh my goodness yeah, yeah it's very interesting and i and very I, we talked a little about this last week that there is a lot of meaning to the opening sequence and i i know that there is um but mm -hmm. i i have my suspicions 
um, as we're going through the episodes, I'm ha- I'm getting my my view on who did it is changing uh-huh. once again. Okay, so uh-huh. I do have uh, my suspicions, and and we'll get to that when we when yes. we talk about it. So we start out with um, Grace is still on the phone. Uh, Mm -hmm. saying that, you know, you know, please come. My, my husband's a fugitive and I'm terrified. And then we, we get a glimpse of Jonathan in the police car and his face has the look of dread. He's, he's, he's not scared, but, but he is, but it's like, uh, like, oh my gosh, Mm -hmm. what a pickle I'm in. Like, his yeah. face is so tired. And um I I was thinking, you know, at that point he didn't do it. I mean, his acting is superb obviously, but at this he moment He's a perfect face for this. Yes, it's like mm-hmm. he didn't do it and he's like, "Oh my gosh, what just happened?" My own wife, yeah, like what he's looking at just mm-hmm. just happened. What what's going on? And um, I felt really bad. And, and then we see the police, you know, the detectives, you know, fly in. And and then they start grilling Grace again. They're, like, basically accusing yeah, like, her. Oh, he, yeah. oh, and exaggerating things. Like, oh, something about he grabbed you by your neck. And he's like, and she's mm-hmm. like, no. Oh, she doesn't say no. She says, he put his hand on my face and his little something other hand on the back of my head. Yes. So she's clarifying it. And mm-hmm. they're basically trying to put words in her mouth. Like yes. technically somebody said, yeah, he grabbed me by my neck and he technically did not. And then it was on her face and her neck. Yeah. Or back and then of they're her like, head. Oh, so you called nine one one, what five minutes after he shows up. And, and she's just like, you know, and they're like, were you afraid? And she's like, yeah, I was terrified. I'm terrified. Why? Yeah. Why? Did you think that he was going to, like, hurt you, kill you or something? And, um, you know, kinda... she's, but yeah. she's angry because they're acu- kind of accusing her. And she's just mm-hmm. like, why are you asking me these things? And, yeah, and they have to clarify it. Yeah. And but at the same time, she does look guilty. But she's also defending herself. So we have a double, uh-huh. we have a double personality thing going on. Um, she does see appear to be kind of guilty, but at the same time, she's being defensive because they're just they mm-hmm. won't leave her alone. They're just like it's weird her reaction. It's weird, I think, because if I guess looking at me, like I put myself kind of like in her shoes, just for that little moment there. Yes. Yes. Like if you're tired and if somebody just badgering you, just like going at you, you just snap and you tell them to to just f off, like to get mm-hmm. off your mm-hmm. get off my case, and you push like you. There's only this much you can take from somebody, and then if they're like still coming at you, mm-hmm. you either do what she does, which is like you know, kind of almost imagine getting in a corner and covering your head, or you attack them back, like get out of my house to do this. Like what, yeah. what would you do if you're being attacked and mm-hmm. you actually didn't do whatever they say they're doing? You're, you know, you just kind of attack more. You get them out of there. Right. Um, and she does not do that. She kind of like, you know, um, retreats and it's like, Oh yeah, you know, something. And she's like oh, making those sounds and like, as if she's aggravated, but yeah. tired and mm-hmm. like, aggravated. Wow. Yeah. Real yeah. defensive. And then, then uh, Detective uh, Mendoza says, oh, the DNA results came in. Mm-hmm. And she's got this look on her face like, I, mm-hmm. I know what you're going to say. And he says, yep, the daughter is his. Yeah. And she's like, so okay. Dies. And she has that thinking look on her face. And then she walks off to go, mm-hmm. um, you know, just just think about things and 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 have it you know Uh like a reality check but do you notice that the detective is watching her oh yes and i'm surprised her as a is she psychologist or psych um i think she's a psychiatrist psychiatrist okay so she her is is a psychiatrist i mean my goodness she's really uh putting her defenses down like she's not she's just forgetting that she's being watched unless 
Well, and she has and, to be careful because she her actions may be misinterpreted. Or yes. if she's guilty, mm -hmm. definitely will be interpreted in a guilty way because she does look kind well, of guilty-ish. Well, when she walked away to absorb this information, and he's really watching her. I was watching her too. I'm, I'm like watching with him. And mm -hmm. she, I guess people would do that. I, I'm assuming you just need to get away from from this guy and think about, oh my gosh, what just happened? What did he just say? But to me, her body language wasn't as, like I would be sobbing maybe, and you'd see my shoulders moving because I was crying or something, but I don't know. I feel like she wasn't emotional enough. Uh, that she, she walked away as if like the gears were turning. You, like I, mm -hmm. I, I don't know with a shock if you people in shock I don't shock I think it's the when there's no clarity you're in shock you either do something extra or don't do anything at all one of the things or kind yeah. of in between but for her it looked like as if she's kind of like thinking 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 like she has her thinking um hat on yeah yeah uh -huh. gears are turning and turning like like what's really? her next move or what what is yes. she gonna do yes um at this point so then um, Jonathan goes to, to jail and, um, um, you know, we see like a little flash of that. And then, uh, you know, Henry's watching the news and everything. And um, Grace comes in and, and basically tells him to shut it off, you know, like shut it off, just shut it off. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, Franklin, um, dad, her dad is talking to her about... Um, about oh on the news it said the sculpting hammer is missing that that could be the weapon the murder weapon mm -hmm. and she was bludgeoned to death and so you know he's basically telling grace you know you you need to get a you need to get a lawyer and everything mm -hmm. and um you know how are you doing and and everything financially and i i, I believe i think this is the part um that she said that he he wiped out the bank accounts, right? Um, um no, actually, that's a little bit further because the, the, we we see the I actually took a couple points. Um, there there was a trial when there were actually the trial was the um I guess bail hearing. Oh which no, was not, set for no, ten... not, yeah, not yet. That's almost here, but mm -hmm. yeah, but uh, the they're 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 just kind of talking, and then uh, oh, mm -hmm. Lily calls okay. Lily calls grace and says you need an attorney mm -hmm. like yeah you know because they're gonna they might charge you with aiding and abetting mm -hmm. and hiding yep. a fugitive and she's like and that's her friend uh yeah lily grace's the, friend, the yeah. lawyer and grace is still like oh, god you guys leave me alone that is so strange right that she's not doing that yeah i find it like as isn't all... it like that couple wanting to get caught that she was talking about that uh, the the couple that she was counseling like mm -hmm. it's almost as if you wanted to get caught yes so for her it's like she's almost wanting to not have a proper protection that she's entitled to yeah so you know i'm i'm still kind of wondering why yeah. she doesn't want an attorney so lily goes to the courtroom because um uh she basically tells Grace, yeah, mm -hmm. he's, he's got a public defender and he's like, mm, he's okay. But uh, Elena's husband happens to be in the courtroom as well. And uh, the judge is saying, uh, we're going to have TV cameras allowed today only, no social media, no, you know, none uh -huh. of that. And um, uh, Jonathan and uh, Lily make eye contact. And uh, mm, there's not strange how they, yeah. I mean, he's right. wouldn't he be looking around for Grace or maybe even the husband? I don't know, but he makes eye contact in this crowded courtroom with Lily only. And uh, yeah, it bail is set at two million dollars cash. Is it two or ten? Um, I thought well, it was, doesn't matter, it's I thought a lot it was of money, two bill. million dollar okay. ca cash okay. bond. Um, so anyway, uh, you know, that's a lot of, and obviously they lot. won't pay that because they don't have it. Yeah. Um, you know, Grace comes home, Jonathan's in jail. He doesn't, you clearly, he doesn't belong there. He's very scared. He's very nervous. Um, 
you know, anyone that bangs on something, he jumps. It, it's like walking into a haunted house. He's just like really edgy, really jumpy. I would be too. I don't mm-hmm. want to be, I don't want to be there with. I mean, the way he has, he was keeping his composure. He wasn't, his face is, he's a very good face for mm-hmm. a lot of things. Um, if, uh, I mean, he keeps um, kind of to himself. Yes. But I, it's, Feels to me, it felt to me like he's gonna snap at any moment because that's how people react. They either recoil in fear or they go for whatever's attacking them. So okay. it's very interesting noticing how they are all behaving and okay. you know in different situations that are threatening. Mm-hmm. And maybe that's his uh, thing right now. Um, but I just did, I did notice that he's very nervous. It'd be like me if I were there. I would be so nervous and I would be really jumpy. And I'm, I don't know what's going on. So he, he gets a little meeting with his public defender and he's like, you know, uh-huh. a week has passed. Like, where have you been? And, you know, this guy is just kind of a jerk to me. Like public defenders are kind of like, eh, whatever. And um, he's just basically telling him, don't talk to anyone. And he goes, well, I, I say I'm innocent. He goes, innocent is good, but nothing is better. And he's like, don't you yeah. care about don't you care? And he's like, no, no, really. I'd rather you be guilty. Uh, because mm-hmm. it's like, um, it, it's, it's just, you know, less, less work really. Basically he's just telling him, eh, well, you know, I'm just here to do my job. I'm, you know, a job, not the job. I'm just here to do uh-huh. my job. And, and Jonathan just looks like he's going to cry. He just, you know, he looks uh-huh. like he's going to cry. Yeah. And, um, He's like, I'd be really grateful if you can arrange so I could see my wife, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, then we we go to Grace meets this public defender at a diner. Yes. And um, this is where I find it very odd. He says his job is reading people. Right. And, and he's like... Uh, your husband thinks you're going to vouch for him for his innocence. And she's like, no, like nope. absolutely not. Yep. No. Yep. And, uh, he's trying to talk her into, Oh you have a post traumatic betrayal, you know, yep. la, la, la. you're, you're mad. You're, you're pissed off that he had an affair and all this, but what was he like before that? Yeah. And, you know, she's just kind of looking at him and he, he, he's just saying, you know, I, my job is reading people and I don't, you know, like, I don't know if he's the kind of person that would do Uh that. I mean, he's a doctor, but, but he also said to Jonathan that doctors are sometimes assholes. So I I think he's, um, he's trying to get reactions from both parties, Uh right? Yeah. See, what mm-hmm. what they're going to do, what their reaction. If he's reading people, he wants to see, are they going to get angry? Are they going to get scared? Are they going to get defensive? Uh, excuses, cry, yeah. get angry, right? I, that was my yeah. opinion on it. And with her, and with her, he actually asks her uh, if, however he phrased that question, but basically asking her if he is capable of something like that. And she mm-hmm. just says something like, if, do you think that I would have married him if I knew he was capable of something right. like that? Exactly. Or stayed married if I would have stayed or something, one of those things. Yeah. Either married him or stayed married yes. to him if I knew that he's capable of yes. that and kind of thing. If he was that kind of person. Right. And he's absorbing all of this information. Mm-hmm. He's He's got his mental memo notes and he's like, yeah. he's watching her. Um, kind of like the detectives are, but in a different way, he's trying to find out information, um, that obviously they're not going to just spill, you know, spill the beans. Right. Yeah. So, uh, so then, um, Franklin dad is trying to convince grace that he's not innocent. He is not innocent. And, um, Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that's where they have their chess game. Uh, yes. And, uh, mm-hmm. Henry's asking that, uh, if she thinks he did it and, and Grace like, well, no, you know, kind of like she, yeah, you know, like she, she kind of thinks he didn't do it, but kind of, she's not, I don't know how hard right now at this point she's trying to convince her dad. I think she just wants mm-hmm. her dad out of her business. 
Like she's yeah. thinking, she's got to think she's, she's thinking things over and she's not really ready to, um, you know, to say anything. And then uh-huh. Henry asks his mom, do, do you think he did it? And Grace is comforting him, says, no, I don't think your father did that. Uh-huh. So here she's fighting with herself. Yeah. She's arg- she's fighting with, you know, the lawyer, the detective, her father, her son. She has a different answer um, for a- anyone that confronts her. Lily, you know, get a lawyer. Uh-huh. No, I don't need one. It, it It's like her answer is different or her. Or yes. she changed her Reacted mind on a person really quickly. Like, oh, like a yo-yo, you know, like, oh, yeah, he did it. No, he didn't. Yeah, he did. No, he didn't. So she's not, she's just not sure at this moment, right? Yeah. Like we at least are seeing her as somebody who just can't get a grip on what it is that she thinks about all this. And that would be human, a human trait, because if you love someone and they did, somebody told you they did something Uh terrible, of course, at first you may not believe them, but then, then you might think about it and say, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, maybe they did, but you you don't want to you you're in denial. You love this person, and you might stay there forever. Plus, they have a son, and the son loves the father. So yes, she has to be brave. And then she has her dad. Like, what are you doing? And and she just kind of doesn't know what what's going. You know what to think. It's yes. all jumbled up. So um um. You know, uh, she and her got... son, like her son, is emotional too. We see him mm-hmm. at home. He just, like you said, um, he goes. Well, I don't know. Um, like at some point, he goes into her bedroom, I think, and just cries. Like you said, yeah. Um, being emotional, she just makes him try to try to make him feel better. Mm-hmm. But it's getting to everybody, and you yeah. would think like the kid is like, oh, you know, I'm busy with my game here. I'm just like, but they, yeah, it, they, they are. Meaning they, as in children, they are seeing things mm-hmm, happening. So course. the son is no different. Yeah, so he sees they, all this and he reacts finally. And they all have, you know, smartphones, these kids. So he's watching the news. He's looking at social media. He's he's seeing everything everybody else is, is mm-hmm. you know, um, messaging, you know, each other. What, look what happened to, you know, Henry's yeah. dad. And all, yeah, all and I'm things. sure that was one of my things, like how quickly that must have just escalated along right. the whole Vine thing, mm-hmm. information on Vine. Um, so, and then, uh, mm-hmm, oh, I was, no, go ahead, go ahead. No, I was just saying that uh, Grace then later on visits him in um, in prison. Yeah, she, she goes outside and there's all these reporters. So mm-hmm. she gets in the car and we see her crying in the car yes. on the way to jail and you know at that moment you know you you feel for her you know her son yes. is upset she's upset she's not sure if if jonathan did it she's still like on the fence her her emotions everything are going back and forth uh-huh. so she visits him and and you know grace is questioning him and uh why am i here what what what, what do you want to see me about and she's angry. She says, you know, you have a daughter. And his face, he's just broken. He's just a broken person at this point. Yes. And um, he's like, look, look, look. You know, he looks terrible. And he's like, Elena was obsessed with me. She wasn't well. you mm-hmm. got to believe me. You know, I wouldn't take a human life. You know, I, I took an oath. And, um, you know... It's like, please, you, you got to believe me. You got to believe me. And, you know, she's mad. She, of course, she's angry, just like the public defender said. He he cheated. He's got a child. But but she's looking at him like, oh, gosh, you, you, you look like you're telling the truth. Like you're really sorry, you know. And he basically begs her, please bring Henry. I, I, I have yes. to see my son. And, yeah, and, you ha- he has to, like, he wanted to um, be the one to tell him himself, mm-hmm. you know, to, for the son to hear it from him that he is not guilty. And he right. felt the importance of it. And here's a little nugget that I did notice the other day, but I didn't say anything yet. <clears throat> we see Grace, and she's in the bathroom washing her face. Now, mm-hmm. I've noticed that every episode, she's either putting cream on, washing her face mm-hmm. she's in the bathroom always in the mirror all the mm-hmm. time so far every episode so i'm like 
what is she seeing in the mirror? Is she mm-hmm. seeing herself? Is she does she have a dual personality? Um, you know, is she like a Sybil or something or uh, you know what? Because th- there's some kind of obsession that the camera has with her mm-hmm. being in the bathroom mirror all the time putting yes. in washing her face she's always you know doing the wrinkles or doing something you know there's always something going on so there is there is this thing where people kind of are they live their life and they um it's not exactly this this associative okay this, oh gosh this order I didn't say it probably right, um, but they are like they live their life, but it's like not their life. They kind of see themselves living it, but mm. they're not actually in their emotions. Okay, so um, it's not that. It's not that probably, but there, are, there, there is a similar thing where you basically kind of and people may have it like when they will sometimes look, but they're not seeing. I mean, obviously they're not blind. But they're looking in the mirror, and they may be just looking, and it's like well, it's not me. It's like they're looking, but they're kind of seeing a stranger. Yes, and living that, their life. this could be a thing with Grace, right? This could be a clue mm-hmm. as to her mental stability. So I, I'm just taking all these little clues that we're getting from mm-hmm. from the opening scenes to her, she in the mirror for her, all of her flashbacks, her dreaming, her fuzziness. And, um, and the way she kind of interacts with these different characters. So she goes and talks with the doctor, the one that, you know, Jonathan worked with. And, and, you know, this doctor's like, no, you know, he thinks that Jonathan's guilty. He's got this, he's narcissistic. He's got this God complex. And he, I mean, he, he, he's telling Jonathan was obsessed with this woman. They weren't even discreet. They, mm-hmm. they, they didn't hide it. And this is where Grace gets defensive. And now she wants to defend Jonathan. Now she's like, mm-hmm. look, you know him. I've seen him. He wouldn't hurt anyone. So now she's, you know, when somebody, it's kind of like, uh, you know, your children. You or, protect your. Yes. You, you're like, I, I can say they're like mean, children. but yeah. you can't. Right. Yeah. So yeah, gets, they're not yours too. <laughs> yeah, so she's Do getting that too. really defensive at this moment, and he's he calls him a psychopath. And yes, her he face, does. narcissist and, nar- and yeah. psychopath. And and she's just like, what? You know, like, uh, no way, no uh-huh. way. So I, I'm I'm, so she's walking away, and and she goes uh, to the school to pick up pick up her son, and guess who goes by her? the husband with yeah. this baby yeah. in the stroller. Yeah. So she runs into Lily and they pick up the kids and they're walking. She keeps looking back and here comes the husband again, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. almost like he's following her. And yeah. so she's getting kind of creeped out about it a little bit. And um, mm-hmm. I thought, Oh, that's, that's, that's must be really awkward to keep running into the husband. Into of, them, yeah. Yes. Of the woman that your husband has been accused of having an affair and, and baby it's, it's yes her husband's. right yeah. so um uh you know now she's talking to her dad again and she's talking about um actually if i can go back to um that part uh where um actually it's sorry um uh, you were saying the whole thing about um meeting john's colleague at work if i yes. can go back to that yes so when um before that, we actually see um, Grace remembering all the good things before yes. she goes to see the doctor. She, we see the flashbacks of mm-hmm. how great he was with kids. And we kind of like, wow, oh, wow. He was like right there smiling, yes. being silly, doing this. Mm-hmm. But we only see him with that one kid. And I don't know which kid is that. If that's the, the, the child, the, the, well, um, the mother. Son, that, yeah, or, yeah, we don't or know. Whoever right? it is. But she, she sees him as that. So we kind of go with the image of that. And then we hear this colleague talking about like, no, he loved attention. He loved this. He loved being worshipped. Yes. And we told him and we told him and he got warnings. He was warned and he didn't care. He right. didn't care about anything. He did this, this and that. And mm-hmm. so it's like, whoa, like, whoa, we just saw her having those memories. Right. But again, memories can be faulty. Yes. And this we is may her... put them. Yes. And this yeah. is her reality versus 
somebody else's reality. But yes. remember, even in our own reality, we may hear a gossip or a rumor that somebody's mm -hmm. snotty or rude, but they're not. But we, we kind of saw or heard something and then we have mm -hmm. this image of them until yep. somebody comes and says, no, 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 they're really a nice person. You just mm -hmm. saw them on a bad day. And, and yeah. we have that image like, oh, okay. He worked with him, yes, but was he with him the whole time at the hospital? No, he probably saw bits and pieces of um, Jonathan and maybe he had just assumed that Jonathan had was a great doctor, he was handsome, great uh, looking wife and, mm -hmm. and, and maybe the doctor was just jealous, like, you know, oh God, he's mm -hmm. just terrible and he's... He's a yeah, that's one person's perspective, even though yes. that was the guy who spent more time with him than Grace did. I mean, we, people, when they go to work, they spend mo more of that time, obviously, with other people than with, for example, other, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. the people out of outside of work. But again, that's one person's perspective. The only right. thing that he says that's uh, kind of uh, generalizing it is that he had multiple warnings. So my, yes. my, that must have been public yes. at work but still kept confidential outside of work. Yeah, because he can't. He can't he's not at liberty yes. to say anything. So she goes home and her dad's sitting there and they're having kind of a conversation and oh this is where the chessboard is yeah. sitting there uh, again. And um you know she's talking about hero worship and and all this stuff and and the dad is like what are you talking about? You know, and she's trying to convince her dad. You know, mm -hmm. like um I don't think he did it. And he's like, are, are you open to the idea of getting back together with him? And she's like, of course not. You know, no way. Mm -hmm. There's, I'm, I'm not doing that. But but he's like, he, you know, the dad's like, what does this have to do with it? I'm not buying any of this. I, I You know, like you could say all you want, but I, I'm just not buying it. He did it mm -hmm. and that's it. And I don't even know why you're on this crazy train. But you got to remember... Franklin is not married to Jonathan. Grace yeah. is. And she has a different perspective of of Jonathan than the father. Of course, this is an in-law. So no one's yes. ever good for your son or daughter, in this case, daughter. And um, mm -hmm. But there's some kind of feud going on between these two that probably goes back uh, a ways. So mm -hmm. I, I think we'll find out what that is uh, in the upcoming episodes. But he basically confesses, I gave um, $500,000 to Jonathan. He said, you guys were poor. He needed it for Reardon. He said, you guys, uh, he had money problems and all this. And she, she's like, what? And he goes, I know that you wouldn't have ever asked me your pride. You have too much pride to ask. And he starts crying. And he says, I'm sorry I should have told you because maybe that woman would be alive today if he would have told Grace about the money. Yeah, exactly. So the father felt kind of uh, great that he can actually help. Yes. You know, his daughter, like he felt, uh, what did he say? Not honored, but whatever he said, um, that he, he was able to actually do that. And he knew that she won't go to him. And he was mm -hmm. actually happy that the Jonathan went there. Yes. But still... Still, the, 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 it's like, what ifs? What if I've done that? What if I have done yeah. this? And mm -hmm. he, he was, that was a great scene. I mean, he did it perfectly. The tears, the, the emotion. And I forgot, um, what's his name? The father's name. But anyway, Franklin, he, Franklin. he was Franklin. He was just, it was a very well um, done scene. But I don't know what to think of the fact when he reached out to touch uh, Grace's hand, like in, uh, to kind of... Um, console her or to kind of you know like when you grab somebody like when you touch somebody's hand mm -hmm. in the emotional state she took her hand out of his and put her hand on top of his like she you know when he, he touched her hand kind of held it and she's like yeah no she took it out and placed her hand on top of his so i'm thinking wow like but there's something about that. I wonder what that whole dynamic is. Well, if the do father you think, is maybe do you think that Grace was trying to console Franklin because he was crying about mm -hmm. trying to help her, but that shows she did strength. The wrong That's what I'm saying. Thing? If somebody holds your hand, they are the stronger one. They want to be there for you. Mm -hmm. But if you take your hand out of their hand and put it on top of theirs, it's like, no, that's okay. I'm here for you. Yeah. And we do have this, 
this ongoing battle between the mm -hmm. daughter and the father about yeah she can't do everything on her own she needs an attorney mm -hmm. but they're, they're just constantly she's got yeah. too much pride to ask for money the dad knows this um, yes, yeah, she's not, yeah. she's not um, accepting help or somebody to be there for her, right. even emotionally. Mm -hmm. She like with a gesture of her hand just going up on top of his hand. Like, no, right. I'm here for you. You're not here for me. Yeah. And they're both, it's kind of almost a battle, right? Of who mm -hmm. who's there to very help who, strange. right? Between the two of them. In that moment, in mm -hmm. that very, very emotional moment. It was just very odd. Those so, gestures. Mm -hmm. so, you know, I, I'm feeling kind of weird now. And this is, this is the part, you know, Franklin mm -hmm. goes out on the, on the balcony and he's looking over the city. And then all of a sudden he, he's just out in the street yep. in this weird neighborhood. Mm -hmm. He appears to be outside of Elena's husband's apartment, yep. but, but it, it's not proven. He just kind of looks up and we do see, we, we don't see the camera going up to the yes. window to see but all of a sudden we do see him and the baby, but it's, it's making us feel as if Franklin is really outside. And I don't know mm -hmm. if they're, if that's, if he's a somewhere else and they're trying to make yeah. us think that he's outside. Yeah, I didn't apartment. rewind it to see the, I didn't see, I didn't look at the structure of the building because obviously yeah. if we would maybe like go back to it again, we could see if, how the windows look like, if right. they were of the same shape and yeah, exactly. color of the outside. Exactly. But they are very, very um, particular when it comes to um, giving us the, the moments, the zooming in on certain things mm -hmm. and just the gestures and the eyes and mm -hmm. uh, like taking a breath in or out or just aggravation being shown in gestures. They're very, very good at that. Yes. I, I love all the cinematography that they're doing. Mm -hmm. It's giving us that creepy feel that we don't know what's going on in Grace's yep. mind. And all of a sudden they, they show this, they showed that there's a lot of like, jump scares in and this is not even um a, a, a monster horror right. it's but it's it they're giving us so well, many jump aren't scares. we all monsters kind of depending on the situation we can argue like you yeah. like, right they've been married for a while and it's like you have not even like you don't even know your own husband and right my gosh he, your husband doesn't even know you and uh -huh. who knows they don't know like nobody knows anything right. nobody can be in inside somebody's head like that and yes. actually know something you think you know somebody or you yes. might suspect something but do you really know yeah do we really know do we really want to know <laughs> yeah we don't but but then again we do because you know if yeah if that person is a monster we'd rather find right. out sooner than later right and that word comes up yes uh, it does come up later word... a little bit later yeah mm -hmm. but uh like i said there's a lot of jump scares in this in this show as if it were a monster movie mm -hmm. but it's not it's just a suspense and so that that does come up a little bit later so uh anyway uh henry finally visits dad in jail jonathan in mm -hmm. jail and uh he's like you know what happened and jonathan says well you know i had an affair and henry uses the f word so you effed her mm -hmm. and the jonathan's is like how do you okay. like, oh my gosh you know more than you should like you're a child and how do you <laughs> how do you not know, a child anymore yeah how do you know yeah. this but you know kids know way more than than we think they know right mm -hmm. so oh, yeah you know and he's like don't you love mom anymore and he's like yes i i love her i love you more than anything i just i effed up i messed up it was a mistake mm -hmm. i thought i was you know helping i was helping her child you know he had cancer and i just got kind of there's that word entangled, right? He, yes. he he had an entanglement. And um, so, you know, the he's like, I love you. And the son is like, okay. You know, like, okay, you convinced me, dad. I know you didn't do it. I love you. They're trying. He wants to hug his dad so bad. And they kind of hold hands. But the guard is like, oh, quit You're not touching. allowed to. Quit touching and let's go, let's go. And um, I thought uh, Jonathan was very upstanding to tell his son the truth, the whole truth. And mm -hmm. uh, even uh, Grace is sitting there listening to this truth. And she's like, okay, maybe you didn't do it. Like, you know, she's listening like a child would listen. And, and Jonathan's convinc convincing his son. And his son's going, okay, I, I, 
I believe you. And here at this point, Grace is like, me too. Like her face softens a little bit and she's thinking and it's like, maybe he's really telling the truth, right? Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> you know, but then he asked, why did you run? Why, why, why did you hide? And, and everything. And, and he's like, because I was scared, but I wanted to come back. Cause I, I, I didn't want to lose you. you and, yeah. I wanted my family back. And, um, Henry says, we won't ever be a family again. Like he's mm -hmm. in reality. Yeah. check. Everybody else is sort of in a dream. And Henry, this child is like, we won't ever be a family again. So he knows he knows something he's watching the news. He's reading social media, mm -hmm. talk to his father, his mother, and he has his own perspective. He had, he's a totally different view now of everybody mm -hmm. else. Right. Yes. So, um, uh, Grace goes home to her father's house cause they're staying there mm -hmm. and, and Franklin's playing the piano and, and she comes in to talk to him and, uh, you know, I want to hire that Haley Fitzgerald for Jonathan, not for herself. Yeah. And, um, Franklin, Franklin is like, um, you know, who, you know, this, she was bludgeoned mm -hmm. to death. And then well after like kept, she yeah. was bludgeoned well after she was dead. And, and this is where he said, that is a monster. Yeah, because it's not a crime of passion. A There's monster, a difference. Yeah. right? And yeah. this is where the monster comes in. And, uh, you know, he's like, come on, Grace. You're smart. You're intelligent. What is, why aren't you seeing this? And she's just like, no, you know, I think the talk with Henry, everything is convincing her. He didn't do it. He just didn't do it. And she's back on that, that train again. So he asks her, um, you know, she sits down and he goes, play, play the right hand mm -hmm. on the piano. And she does, she doesn't want to, she's kind of shiny. He's like, come on, come on, yeah. just play the right hand. And then she kind of sighs and she's like, it makes me miss mom. Mom. Mm -hmm. Where is mom and who used to play on the piano with right. mom? Was it? grace or was it franklin like mm -hmm. who was doing this so if if grace used to play the piano with her mother and now the father plays piano and he's asking her to join him you know something's triggered there a little bit like um yeah you know there's some memory of something she's not quite grasping she just says you know it makes me miss mom so we don't know what happened to mom and that i think that has something to do with the blood mm -hmm. on the wall in the in the opening sequence so that's just my own thought what about yeah. you what 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 do you think with, with her um there obviously there are adults that can go their entire lives um kind of repressing the memories mm -hmm. and once you repress something it's kind of um it obviously has an effect on your later life mm -hmm. uh, you may actually go your entire life not even realizing it's it's so mm -hmm. far hidden inside your mind and somebody can be like how can you forget something traumatizing you remember trauma well some things are so traumatizing that you literally forget it because if right. you, for your own survival, your yes. brain makes it forget. You can go your entire life mm -hmm. without having that on your mind, but it's out, it's in there. Like uh, subconsciously, it's affecting you. Yes. And with things like that, once you're, once, um, not everybody's able, not everybody's brain is wired to be able to do that. It's kind of a survival yes. thing. To, it's, it's like for your own. I guess so it's better to release the stuff out safely, but sometimes brain is like, it's too much for you. It's like you, the circuit just kind of, you know, yes. uh, saves your brain. Yes. But with that already activated, there are other things where you are blind to. Mm -hmm. Like you're, for your own protection, your brain just says, no, you can't handle it, off. Yes. You just turn it off. So this gives um, me, well, it gives us, the viewers, this feeling that grace is not stable and there are things yeah. in her life that she chooses not to remember that she's in denial or has forgotten because they do that they'll push that bad trauma away 
So yep. now we're looking at Grace as being guilty again because we're we're already thinking a little bit that Franklin, the dad is guilty. We think Jonathan's guilty. Then we don't think. Then Grace is guilty. She looks guilty. But here here we go. Um, and then the friend is guilty. Yeah, like everybody you know, yeah, guilty. Everyone's, the plumber did it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this show is so good to make us go back and forth on who's guilty and who's not. And I, and I just love that about this mm -hmm. show. Um, and I'm glad they changed it, the ending from the book, because then everyone... I don't know anything about the book, and I don't want any spoilers. Like, yeah. Well, there's no do, spoilers, hopefully. because I did change the show from the book. So that's why I'm glad they did it, so everybody you know, doesn't jump and read the book and say, oh, I know who did it, the butler did it, and it, um, it's not the butler. The only thing about knowing what the ending is in the book, it takes away if it's one of my things in my head. So I don't yes. want that ending to be me, taken me away. Either. I don't want to know anything about the yeah, ending. That's not it. Yes, so. me either. I'm not reading it. I might read it after. Um, mm -hmm. uh, because sometimes I read a book first and mm -hmm. then I see the movie like memoirs of a geisha. I read that book. I mm -hmm. loved it. A movie came out. I was so excited. Um, but then they do these changes and I, I get upset. So sometimes mm -hmm. I rather watch the movie first yes, and then read the book for the real, you know, the real story. And I, yes. I, I found that I love that better. I like to, mm -hmm. uh, watch the movie first, read the book. I did that with Misery, Stephen King's Misery. I read the yes. book. I saw the movie. And they the only change they did was in, in, in the book is she actually saws off his foot. Um, mm. In the movie, she uses a sledgehammer and just, you know, hobbles him. So yeah. there, there wasn't much change, but you know what I mean? There, like yeah. Game of Thrones, I completely get it. I, yeah. I would prefer to uh, just be nicely surprised. And, oh, I, books are usually really, really great, obviously. Yes. Um, but then it's I don't want to be disappointed. So I'd rather just yeah. by watching a movie. So I'd rather just watch the movie. Like, yeah, that was crying cool. And then yeah. get like an extra treat of like, wow. Yeah, the book. Wow, and this have, is really good. <laughs> and have like more uh, – like Twilight, yes. like all the Twilight books. I, I watched mm -hmm. the movies first mm -hmm. and then I got the books and I read them and then, but I couldn't like wait. So I just read, mm -hmm. I just read them all. I just read them all. Yes. And I was disappointed in the changes they made or the things they left out or didn't put mm -hmm. in or, or how they were portrayed. Yeah. I, I, I enjoyed the books so much and I do enjoy the movies, but I made the mistake. I watched twilight the first one and then i read the book but i couldn't wait for the other one so <laughs> i read all the books yes like it within two or three weeks and um mm -hmm, mm -hmm. then when the movies came out i knew it was going to happen but when they did expectations the did not yeah, meet the and it was like ah that's so whatever and i wasn't happy so um but so, anyway um uh jonathan's back in jail he's in the courtyard and this guy that kind of looked at him the other night remember he kind of passed mm -hmm. him by yes he's like hey um right. you know, there, i googled you there's a lot of stuff do you think you can get a pen and like some sign some stuff for me you know and jonathan just goes nuts he's like get your hand take your hand yeah off and he me. like zero space Z yeah. what is it with people and giving people zero personal space there should be enough when you take your hand you know, um, stretch out your hand. Mm -hmm. Nobody, unless it's a bus, I guess, or crowded area, like packed with people, nobody should be closer than your hand is. Yeah. And this dude is like over his shoulder, like by his yeah. ear. Jeez, I would, I would have just like elbowed him. Yeah. Well, you know, and, and, and I would and, love and, to, but he just gets defensive like right away. And, and if you listen to what the guy says, you think you can get a pen and like sign some stuff for me. And if he would, if yeah. he would have just said, Sure. Nope. You know, like, or, no, yeah. he just, <laughs> sure. He's in jail. He doesn't know. He doesn't know how to do things, right? He just gets yeah. all defensive, get your hand off of me, all this stuff, and they get into a fight. If it were me, mm -hmm. I would be like, yeah, yeah, okay, buddy, I'll talk to you later about it. Yeah. You know, if yeah. I, hit me up later, we'll, we'll talk about it. I would just But like, that's the thing. He feels attacked. And yeah. Meaning it's like the, you, if you feel threatened, what do you do? Like you attack or you go away? So, and he's on an attack, like, okay, I'm going to do, he over, 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 react, or, over, react. you yeah. think? Mm -hmm. I, I thought yeah. he did. Did you think he did? Mm -hmm. He, I, I thought he did. Um, he didn't have to do that. It's sometimes better to kind of make the situation not as bad, yeah. not to escalate it. Yes, yes. And he definitely was escalating it by 
you know, punching the F out of him. Yeah. And then they ended up biting him, actually. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I, and, I just think yeah. that Jonathan just reacted too quickly. I mean, yeah, he doesn't want anyone touching him and everything. And he's in, he's in this stressful situation. And he did notice that guy walked past him. But, but you know, at the same time, you know, it's like it's always yeah. better to make some friends in jail. You don't know how long you're going to be there. You might, you know, need him as a friend. Who knows if this guy is going to do revenge yes. on him later. So um, it's True. like the guards don't, don't care. They're like, um, we're not putting you in the protective cell. You know, you're... You're going to be out there with general population, so you better... Oh, but he was able to hold up, like, he was fine. I mean, he would, they had to take, grab him, they had to pull him off of the mm-hmm. other dude. So it's not like he was losing or anything, and he was the one punching. The guy who didn't punch him first, he was the one who mm-hmm. uh, punched first. So he felt, okay, I'm going to go there, and I'm not going to take uh, crap from anybody. And for anything. He, but did you notice, yeah, Jonathan, I was going to say that, Jonathan was very aggressive. And he was like trying to poke his eyes out and, and there was blood. Oh, yeah. and, and then you're thinking, oh, is he capable of murder? See, this is that little, uh, like a little clue again that Jonathan's always calm and, and sympathetic and, and soft spoken. And then here he is jumps on this. He just basically just goes nuts. Like, get, get oh, he me. does. Oh, he does. He was actually, like I said, he, mm-hmm. I thought he was going to bite the finger off and he just, yeah. because the dude was like pressing his hand on top of Jonathan's face mm-hmm. and Jonathan was like, oh, not just like you, he, he almost bit his finger off. Yes. And so this blood fight, everywhere. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This fight is just like, we see Jonathan's potential. Okay. Um, that's what I mean. We don't know. Yes. He could have killed Grace in a fit of anger. Right? In, in anxiety yes. and anger, he could have just like started stabbing her and just over and over and over out of anger, just going on and on and on. Because that's the thing. We don't know what people are capable yeah. of. We ourselves, I don't think we are, we know what we are capable of um, until we are in a situation, right. like whatever the situation is. Yeah. So, anyway, Grace is walking again. We don't know what day this is. And here's the husband following her again. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah. you know, then she, she goes to meet her, her attorney. And, um, basically this attorney is like a badass. And mm-hmm. basically she's like, I could do whatever I could get anyone off. My, I my can job, win any case anything, Uh, my job is to create muck, but, but mm-hmm. she says, you know, do you want to do this? Do you want, why are you mm-hmm. doing this? Mm-hmm. What if he's innocent? What if he's guilty? But basically she's saying, okay, but. I can't erase what happened. I can't erase the affair. I can't erase the baby. I can't make, I can't wipe the slate clean. I can get him off uh, and, for, you know, innocent, but I can't make everything else go away. Are, are you do realize this? And Grace is like, yeah, okay. But that's true. We yeah, think, that's the, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, we think that, right? We think, oh, I got an attorney. I'm going to win this case uh, for the harassment or something that I got wherever. But yeah, it, you might win, you might get money, you might put your boss in jail or somebody gets fined, but it doesn't take, it doesn't take the The thing away. away. Yeah. Like she said, um, I cannot make him faithful or I cannot make him something uh, faithful or I cannot make it go like, yeah. whatever because she says she can create muck and um that will make the other case you know they cannot make their burden or however she yes she called it um so they won't be able to prove mm-hmm. that's it that that's all she does she, they won't be able to prove right that he's guilty so she just uh, wants and that's to what make she can sure. do but it's still mm-hmm. but it still will not take away the fact that he might have done it right and, and that he was unfaithful exactly but and yeah. that's what she's trying to to say to grace like he still could be guilty but you know it's the reason why you want to you know um him to be innocent so you know these are Mm -hmm. things you have to think about so then we see the detectives go into the museum and 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 they're they're gonna talk to franklin franklin's peace peacefully sitting there looking at the paintings and uh you know, the detective is, is talking to him, but you notice the other detective is like kind of mm-hmm. way down. Well, yeah, just watching. there somewhere. He's observing 
body language or or what have you. And um, he's like, yeah, what, what? we think your daughter's hiding something. We think she knows something. And um, he's like, you know, he's just talking his detective talk. And basically, Franklin's like, if you want to hear my reality, you know, get a warrant. If you want to know uh-huh. what mine is, you know, and it's, I, I don't presume to know what yours is. Um, yep. But uh, he's just the whole fatherly advice. Like yeah, he but he's, he's smart. He's intelligent. Franklin's intelligent. Oh, yes. He knows how to word these things. And and then this is where you start feeling that Franklin is in on something. He's hiding he's hiding something. He And he's doing it much better than Grace is. Right. Right. Maybe he knows what Grace is capable of, obviously being her father and being kind of there must have been some kind of history with those two mm-hmm. some, of something happening. And um like well, how much how far will a parent go to protect their child and protect is a very vague word like mm-hmm. what do you mean protect protect as in from being punished for what they've done mm-hmm. or protect as in uh protect their mental sanity yes. by yeah they did it but le- now let's go help them yes. get some uh professional help yes and that I, they can go past it i think franklin has something there's something there something's there and i i have my suspicions about what it is but franklin's in on something franklin knows more than he's telling and he's not even telling grace he knows something there's something he knows so i'm keeping that in the back back of my mind right now that uh, Uh franklin is in on something so we see the husband is following grace again and he kind of bumps kind of bumps her a little bit she's like excuse me She's not right. even paying attention to who it is or what it is. And it's it's the husband with the baby. And he's like, I, I, I want to talk to you. And she's like, I, I don't want to talk to you. It's not a good idea. And and they have this little banter. And um, he's like, my, my, my wife has been murdered. You know, and I don't want her character. Her character's under attack. And she goes on the attack. She goes on the offensive. Like, yeah, but was she with other men? Was she well? And all this. Because now... This is the same thing that happened before she, with the doctor at the hospital. She's all of a sudden uh, protecting Jonathan, right? She's getting defensive yes. about Jonathan yeah. again. You attack my husband, my family. I'm, you know, here we go. He, she goes into offensive uh, offense. Uh, well, she's defending him, but she's starting to, uh, like attack him. Like, I'm going to find out everything because I have the right to know whatever she did, whatever you did. What she does, what she does in a way in that case, I mean, there is a murder trial. Yes. So yeah, they're, they're, uh, you know, uh, ripping him apart. Mm -hmm. Uh, why? And she wants to make sure that there's nothing that on her side, there is anything that could have speak, you know, be speaking to his innocence. Yeah. And then he's basically... Uh, you know, she's like, I'm going to make it my business. Whatever she's done or you've done, it's my business. And he threatens her very lightly, be very careful. He's saying, be very careful. So we don't know if he knows anything mm-hmm. either. Maybe newspaper yeah. articles, something from the past. We don't know what he's doing. We don't know. We, we're not on with uh, Fernando. We're not. Ne- we're never with him. He just kind of shows up mm-hmm. on a, occasion. And then, and then she has this flashback of Jonathan and Elena having sex in the studio. That's the thing. It's, with the is husband. that a flashback? Yeah, yeah, we don't know. We don't know if it's her flashback it's, or whose flashback, right? Or if it's her imagining it. Like sometimes yes. we have the, our worst fears are playing out in our minds. Like, oh, this yes. must have been happening. That must have been happening. Yes. And we see her um, kind of have this image of the husband, the mm-hmm. widower at this point, walking into, the, like, was it a studio? Yeah, it was um, her Elena, art studio. And he's art listening. Studio. He's listening yeah. outside and he's kind of looking in the mm-hmm. window. But we, at this point, like I said, we talked about them having, uh, Grace having flashbacks of things that she wasn't there, Mm -hmm. right? All these flashbacks. So is she having them or is Franklin having them? That is very, very interesting. Jonathan having them or is the husband having these flashbacks? Who is it? What happened, or is she who imagining saw, who saw right. them right. exactly? Who's who's having them, and why is it? 
why are they leading us to believe it's Grace when Grace wasn't even there? She didn't see the mm-hmm. little uh, son find the find the mom, and these like images keep co- popping into her mm-hmm. head. They're making us yes. think it's her, but it could be anybody, right? It could be any one yes. of the suspects. So I thought that was kind of interesting that that husband is listening at the door. He's kind of looking in the window, but he, we don't see him go in or anything. He's just, you know, and um, the cops, uh, the detectives are at her again. She's telling them, you know, he's stuck. She went me. to the station. He, yeah. She went after that. She goes to the station and says this, this and that. And there yeah. they are. And they're like, do you want to file a, you know, file a complaint? And she's like, well, he's just There's stalking me, okay. you know, and, um, you know, and then she starts, be- she starts becoming detective. Mm-hmm. What's his alibi? Yep. Isn't he a suspect? Where, where's he been? Why, why are you after me? Like, aren't there any cameras? Yep. What, like, are, why you guys are acting, you know, like they're both acting like two assholes with her. Really? They're yes. just giving her. And she goes, I have the right to know. And they're like, we can't, we can't, um, tell you those things. We, you know, we're, we're not at liberty to discuss yes. our investigation with you. I have the right to know, I have the right to know. And she says, like, isn't there any cameras? There's gotta be cameras and get, what do they do? They pull out a laptop and she's yep, like, without saying anything, what, what are you doing? What, what is this? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, what is exactly. this? Exactly. And they were just silent all that time. And it was video surveillance from a block away. And guess who's on it? Yep. Grace. And she's walking across the street and then she starts spilling out. Well, well, I I go for a walk. I I, I go for a walk sometimes. Mm -hmm. Um, And then they're like, yeah, there's only two people that were near the murder scene at that time. And it Mm -hmm. was you. And your yep. husband. And yep. the very last thing they ask is, how well did you know Elena? All right. It's, that's why I love this. Yes. That's one of the reasons I love this. This is so completely changing. Okay, he did it. She did it. They did it. Somebody did it. Did, who did it? Who's done it? Right. I, I love it. I, I love do. it because it's like you know somebody. You think you know them. We kind of think, oh, we know them because we see her make breakfast and yep. we see the behind the scene, kind yep. of like where she's alone when she's walking. We think we know her. Yes. We don't know her. Yes, and we don't know Jonathan. But, Nobody. <laughs> but I, my suspicions with Grace and her father, but then again, you know, it flips back to Jonathan. We, we... We're just, you know, we just don't know. And um, with her being on surveillance, of course, we as the audience are like, oh, Grace did it. But do we really know she could have been actually taking a walk? Like she says, we still think Jonathan is guilty. We still think Franklin, her father, is guilty. For all we know, the husband yes. did it. The, hu- you know, mm-hmm. Fernando did it. But they're targeting her and maybe they're doing it for information. Maybe they're trying to get her to remember mm-hmm. something or we don't, we just at this point. And there's the whole thing. Why, you know, her being the main character, kind of main character from whose um, point of view we see things, because that's what we see. We, when I'm thinking about it, when I'm thinking about it right now, like a lot of the stuff that we see, it's from her perspective. Yes. Yes. Her point it's of her view. Self, that, just her like point of view. Game of Thrones, right? It's mm-hmm. kind of like that. And... With that, but um, I just wonder why, um, what is it that she is hiding from herself? I really, yes, really want to know, yes, that part. And what I... is it about her? What happened in the past? Yeah, and I think Franklin knows, and Jonathan yeah. may know, and Jonathan could be using that information to, to pin it on Grace, too. We, we don't know how much of a monster either of these three players are uh last yeah. week somebody said they think that lily might have done it because yeah, the, the lily friend. and jonathan may have had an affair we don't know the way they looked at each other because they i don't think there was only one look i think they kind of like uh what was it um in the beginning they kind of looked at each other but then as they were i think is that I don't remember it exactly, but when he was being uh, escorted out, mm-hmm. I thought that they kind of 
looked at one another. I, I'd, have to very, re, very I'd have to rewatch that, but you know, look at let's look at Lily for a moment. She was hired by Jonathan to do the legal things with his job. She is totally telling Grace, you need an attorney. She also tells Grace, you need to get out of town. You need to get out of here. Um, you know, when it blows up, it's going to blow up. Um, she didn't tell Grace that she was hired because obviously um, that is attorney client privilege. But here's Lily in the courtroom and they give each other this look. So was Jonathan having an affair with Elena and it pissed Lily off. Was he having an affair with Lily as well? Lily to me is just as much a suspect as everyone else at this. Everybody. Point. It's, it's, this it's point. amazing. And mm -hmm. then the things we think we know about people, then there we see stuff or things um, from Grace's perspective about yes. her husband. But then she's mm -hmm. like, no, 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 he's great. He's wonderful. And then we hear about that stuff from mm -hmm. um, the colleague. And like, who do we believe? The wife yes. who has this image or the colleague who's with him all the time? Mm -hmm. Like, What is it? Do we know anything about anybody at this point? Like, we don't. And it's not even that. But for example, Grace... I don't think she's consciously hiding stuff. Um, I think if it was consciously, it was switched to a subconscious something happened. Yes, something it, must yeah. have traumatized her in the past that yes. might have an effect on her currently and her current state of mind. But I'm just surprised how uh, people, uh, when they are becoming um, a psychiatrist, like, don't they go through screening? I think they would. And if somebody has such a trauma from their childhood, I guess, they can be prevented from pursuing their, well, but dad, their career. Could, dad has connections. He could have had a, a, a sponge True. erased. But True. who who all knows of her of whatever is hidden? Do, does right. does Jonathan know the truth? And he shared that information with Lily. Um, mm -hmm. Franklin obviously knows something. Um, so, and especially if that Grace is not consciously, I'm saying consciously aware mm -hmm. of her trauma and effect of it. But if somebody in her close circle, like, like for example, her husband, Jonathan, and like you said, um, Lily, if, if somebody who um, is not having your best intentions in mind, if they get a hold of that information, they can, mm -hmm. they can mess with you and yes. you don't even know they're messing with you because you don't know what it is that you don't remember. Exactly. But they remember that. They can use it as something to mess with you so much. Exactly. So we don't know. We don't, we know. don't know. I love this. I yes. love this. And I can't wait for uh, next week. And I know everybody, we're a week behind um, doing the show instead of doing it like, the Monday after we're sorry, but this was kind of like a kind of a like spur of the moment thing. And we yes. hope to do other shows too, but we are going to do the rest of the episodes in a premiere type format. We will be doing chats, but the undoing is going to be on my channel, the whole rest of the yes. episodes. And we will still continue to do our um, mm -hmm. uh, streams unless like I said, uh, we, if anything comes up, we'll see, but again, uh, we'll, yeah. we'll um, try to, keep a schedule if not you know life happens so yeah life happens and that. uh we both have things coming up um it is uh november uh holidays uh thanksgiving and we know that we're all going to be kind of busy and mm -hmm. we um because of the holidays if we don't have time to do a live stream we'll we'll just record something and release it on yeah. on monday for you guys and uh but thank you uh so much today for uh uh, talking the uh, episode three yes. of the undoing. Do no harm. Oh, it's so exciting. And it's I... funny. Do no harm. Maybe mm -hmm. harm was done, and then undoing the harm. I like that. I, I hope I... they are doing the whole play on words. Oh, thing. I know. <laughs> I, I I love it, and and I just can't wait till uh, uh, Sunday's episode. But we are yep. sorry that we're we're doing it a week later, but. You know, um, my channel's really small, and it's for you, our friends, and it's not for the world at this moment. So we're just excited to do something that's very inter entertaining and interesting. But thank you, yes. everybody, and we'll see you next week. See you then. Bye. Okay, bye.